not to dissuade you from getting a dog, but more to give you an idea of the cost of a dog. In 2011, the beginning of 2011, my girl was uh, 12 years old. And she started having medical problems at that time. And the medical bills really started to mount up. Before then, you know, she was she was plagued by the occasional ear infection or other, you know, minor things. I mean, of course, dog food costs, you know, 30 to $60 a month. Uh, her living down here in the south, you have to have the heartworm and the flea stuff, which was another, I don't know, between 20 and $30 a month. We didn't have to have that in Alaska. Uh, and then the yearly shots, which, you know, were about 120 I think. Um, but in 2011, she really took a turn, started taking a turn for the worse. She had symptom after symptom, issue after issue. They thought that she had bone cancer. I spent like $3,000 at a specialist to see what was wrong with her. That turned up nothing. Another time she was, she had really bad diarrhea for like two or three months. Spent a lot of money on that. Dogs are, in, in later in life, dogs are very expensive, I think. Um, I should say can be, because it's not a definite. My dog was definitely much more expensive later in life. Um, you know, and there were times where we were hiking. She cut her foot on a rock, very sharp piece of shale, and then we were at the vet for that. That was a couple hundred bucks. And when she was like nine years old or 10 years old, she got panis. Panis would make a dog blind. So we had issues with panis then. That was very expensive. And the monthly meds were like 50 bucks a month to keep her eyes, you know. And um, then after panis and bone cancer, <laughs> uh, then she got pancreatitis. That was crazy expensive. Uh, and she, you know, obviously survived that. And then, what else happened? Oh, we went kayaking in Lake Sonoma. She drank the water in Lake Sonoma and was near death then. And that cost me, I think that, that bout, that issue was $500. So we've had a number of things to, you know, happen. And of course things are gonna happen when you have an animal and you're taking care of them the way that you should be taking care of them. But uh, when people say animals are expensive, man, I absolutely believe that now. Coop was costing me near $5,000 a year uh, these last two to three, maybe two years, two and a half years of her life. That's a lot of money to be spending on a pet. And I did it happily. I did it happily. I loved that dog more than anything, and I'd, <laughs> I'd probably do it again. But God, please understand the money commitment that it costs in having a dog, raising a dog. Even the slightest thing could happen to him. Coming down the stairs, running down the stairs, they pull a muscle, or they break a leg, or, you know, I don't know. You're, I would swim in at the lake and they put their foot across the bottom and cut their foot open. I mean, it's it's very expensive to have a pet. And I was going through, I was going to throw away a lot of medical bills today. And uh, Coop's medical bills. And I was just looking at them and it was like a stack this thick. And I was like, holy crap, I spent so much money on her. Now she was my love and I, as I said, I'd happily do it again. And I did it happily. I, I never complained about the money. Um, and, and she was very expensive, but I never complained. Anyway, I was just, you know, I was thinking, I'm glad I kept my medical bills because now, you know, having looked at them, I'm like really realizing how much I was spending on a pet, on my, on my girl. I don't think kids even cost you 5,000 a year. Um, you know, until they go 
I don't know, into high school or something. Anyway, I just wanted to share that. That's my thought on that. Be prepared. Have lots of money when you get a pet.